Hello guys, welcome to a new video. This time I will be sharing with you some cool cut content, easter eggs and references from Uncharted 2 Among the Thieves. So let's start. The developers considered different ethnicities for Chloe. For the Guardians, the design inspiration was rock stars, wrestlers and ethnicities from Nepalese to Eastern Indian and others. In this image we can see different ideas for the monster suit. The top Kapi palace in Turkey was the inspiration for the museum in the beginning of the game. The trees from the swamp levels were inspired by Frank Franzetta's trees. The train level was supposed to be longer, personally I think if it was longer it would turn out to be too long and boring because it would be kind of repetitive probably. I'm glad that they decided to leave it how it is in the final version of the game. When we rotate the statues in this part of the game, they go from a peaceful state to an evil one. Did you ever notice that? In the temple, where we find Chloe again, it was considered to include the sleeping quarters and the pottery room, but these ideas were scrapped. The Gompan temple was inspired by the Tiger's Nest Monastery in Bhutan. For the final area, the developers thought about the huge trees spreading through the city. Here we have some different ideas that were considered for the tree that we see at the end of the game. In this scene you can see in the background a blackboard with Greek writing on it, which says Much Enduring Divine Nathan. This is a nod to the Odyssey, the tale of ancient Greek, and through this Odysseus is often referred to as the Divine Sufferer or the Great Sufferer, highlighting the trials he faced. So they are comparing him to Nate and it's kind of like a way of saying that Nate will still have a lot of struggles in the future. In that same scene, Harry has a NDA in his shirt, which means Naughty Dog Incorporated. This is also appeared uh, in the previous game. On chapter 2, in the museum, you will find some quite interesting things that appeared in the first game. One of them is the El Dorado Coffin. And the statue where Nate lands. You can also find red pawns in some boxes that is the symbol of Naughty Dog. If you die in Chapter 2 with Flynn, he doesn't react like the other characters. Is it because he doesn't care about Nate? In Chapter 5 you will also find some interesting references in billboards about Uncharted 1, like Club Raja, that refers to Eddie Raja. Then we have Hotel Dorado, that is the treasure they were looking in the first game. And also another one that says Sullivan's name, basically it's Sully. Do you remember Tezin and his daughter Pema? Pema is actually the name of Tezin's voice actor. That was a nice way to have a reference related to him in the game. Most people know about some animations like the ones that happen when you try to attack Harry and the ones where you can kick the ball. But have you ever tried in the village to pet one of the animals from behind? This will happen. Oh, real smooth, Nate. Oh, God. 
Ugh. Why would I do that? Like in the previous game, you will find a strange relic that is the precursor orb from Jack and Dexter. When Nate and Sully are running from enemies, they call each other Butch and Kid. This is a reference to the movie Butch, Cassidy and the Sunday's Kid. Shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, Kid! Nathan Drake, early model, was based on the actor, stuntman Johnny Knoxville, most known from Jackass. There are some downloadable characters for multiplayer modes that are from some other games and I had no idea because I never played them. Some of them are Elgast and Sev from Killzone. From Infamous we have the characters Good Cole, Evil Cole and Zeke. To be honest, Infamous maybe would be a game that I would like to try. And from the Resistance game, the characters are the Chimera, Ibrid, and Nathan Hale. Drake's on a Train was the original title for Chapter 14. This is a reference to the film Snakes on a Plane. Now, I will mention some quotes that seem to be inspired by other movies. Drake says... I love the smell of train yards in the morning. This is a very similar phrase that we hear in the Apocalypse Now movie. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Harry asks Nate, Relax, have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? In the aeroplane movie, a character asks the same question. Joey, have you ever been in a, in a Turkish prison? In this part of the game, Nate says, this. Spice. Spice. In Raider of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones says the same thing, but instead of spikes, he says snakes. They say it in the same way. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Those were all the things that I found and I hope you enjoyed. I have another video like this one about Uncharted 1 and I will show the link to it now. If you know more fun things, feel free to say it in the comments. Tell me also if there was anything you didn't know about and like always don't forget to leave a like to help the video reach more people and subscribe for more videos if you're new. Until next time, bye bye!